Welcome to your HyperTrack dashboard. I'll be showing you the features of the Devices view, where you can select and analyze your track devices. When you first visit this page, you'll be viewing your device's data for the current day. You can select a previous date by clicking on the calendar and selecting on a new date, or you can change the time zone by selecting an option from the dropdown. Let's start with the list sidebar. The pie chart shows your devices intended to be tracked broken down by the activity state they had during the day. Inactive devices are those that could not track due to a known reason, like a device's location permission being denied. Disconnected devices are ones that could have had cache location data, but have lost sync with the HyperTrack cloud. Finally, active devices are those that have had any location recorded today. These groups will display as a binned list that you can browse, filter, and manage. Let's start with the active column. On each active device, you'll see a five-segmented bar that represents how the device's day breaks down. Starting from left to right, the active colors are dark green for a device's stops, a medium green for walks, and a light green for their drives. Then, light gray for inactive and dark gray for disconnected. For the current day, the bar represents your day starting at midnight up to now, or for a previous date, represents your 24-hour day. Above the bar, you'll find your device's metadata. Device metadata is stored as a key value pair and can be used to filter your devices further. You can think of this as your device's group. For example, this device has a zone as west. When the current day is selected, an icon showing the current device status will be shown, as well as an icon for trips if that device has one. With either a device's history or trips, you can open these up as pop-up pages with this icon. By selecting a device, you can see their location history shown as a path on the map and a summary of their activity state transitions shown on the right. Upon selection, their path will replay. You can find the controls for the replay at the bottom right. By selecting an activity marker on the summary, you can highlight the path segment that device was in during that activity state. By clicking on the Device Hierarchy button, you can see a tree of your device's metadata. Clicking on a tag will filter the devices in both map and list to those containing that metadata key value pair. This is helpful for navigating through partitions of your devices and can be a powerful organizational tool. Additionally, you can search for any device by typing in their name or using their device ID as an identifier.